All right, so today we're gonna to talk about an adventure here in Oregon called The Polar Express. So you may have seen this movie with your kids. We recently watched it. It's a Christmas movie um, done a few years ago, kind of in this weird animation type stuff. Uh, Tom Hanks is the star voice in the whole thing. But it's about this kid on a train and they go on this adventure and there's all these different parts to it. So uh, in Oregon, we found that there's out in uh, Hood River, Oregon, which is about a little over an hour away from Portland. Um, it's kind of on the Columbia River Gorge, headed up to the mountain around the other way. Um, they have the Mount Hood Railroad. And so during the winter, they do the Polar Express. They turn the whole thing into this kind of all parts of telling the story of the Polar Express. And so the kids go in their pajamas, uh, they ride along on the train, they get hot chocolate, they see all the characters, they see, and the people do a really good job. The conductor's excellent. He's just really uh, into it and really on point as far as the character goes. So anyways, we took a bunch of pictures, a bunch of video of the experience. Um, there are parts that are good and they're bad, but why don't you take a look at the experience and I'll tell you at the end kind of what we thought and uh, feedback on how to do it yourself. Outside, the lights of towns and villages flickered in the distance as the Polar Express raced northward. Soon, there were no more lights to be seen. And travelers were dark things, where little wolves were and white-tailed rabbits hid from our train as it thundered through the sky. How good would you say you've been on a scale of 1 to 10? That's a lot of good work you've done around the house. Uh, yeah, I have. I have. Okay, then. All right, so as you can see, it's pretty cool. We, we rode in the top part of a double-decker train. Uh, this train goes really slow, which I actually think has a lot to do with it, but... Um, we, those are the most expensive tickets. Um, we bought them because we had no idea what we were getting into and we thought those for sure would be the best. Uh, we did love the big table because we took our cousin with us um, and it just gave us some more room for six of us to spread out. Um, it did give a good view, although there, I was expecting to see a lot more views of like the mountain and the river and stuff. You see some of the river and you see some pretty full countryside, but there's not all that great of views. I think the biggest thing for the kids was actually that they, one, they were on a train, which was cool for them, and two, um, their ability to see the characters and interact with them, get the hot chocolate, get the cookie, all that stuff. So I don't know that I would necessarily spend the extra money to sit in the top. I would make sure that you sit in a space that had a table, even some of the lower trains, which you saw some pictures of, had a table uh, in between the chairs, even though they weren't on top. Um, we definitely had a better view, but again, I didn't think there was a whole lot to see. A couple of the recommendations that they gave us, one was um, to take the night train. We took the 11 o'clock because we just didn't know what we were getting into. Um, they said take the four o'clock train because by the time when you take off, it's light and you can see a bunch. By the time you get to the end where there's a whole bunch of stuff lit up with Santa's workshop and all sorts of things, um, it's all lit up and you can actually see it in the daytime. We didn't see any of that. Um, now, the kids loved it, didn't bother them, nothing phased them. The one thing that phased me and, and my wife a little bit was in the top of this train, because it's going so slowly, the train kind of goes like this, back and forth and back and forth. And you can see in this little clip here how the, just kind of the, the, the decorations are swaying back and forth. But uh, I knew about 10 minutes into it, I'm like, this could be rough. Like, <laughs> I could get motion sickness potentially. And I asked one of the people on the train, like, do all these do this? 
And they said that um, definitely sitting in the top was way worse. Um, so I would sit in the bottom if I were to do it again. Um, once you got used to it, it was fine. The kids, it didn't phase them at all. But that's just something to be aware of, especially if you're motion sickness. It could be a long ride because once you're there, you can't get off. Um, anyways, other than that, it was cool. We would do it again. Uh, I would definitely sit on the bottom. Uh, but the kids liked it. Um, the hot chocolate and the characters were the best part for them, not necessarily the scenery, which I actually expected it to be the other way around. So anyways, if you like the adventure, uh, they only do it, I think, through Christmas, maybe a little bit after. Um, so get your seats reserved if there's even any available still. If not, it's something you can plan on doing next year. Um, that's the point of these videos is to give you ideas to do with your kids. We know some of them are seasonal. And we try to get them up as quickly as we do them. Um, so that you can have that feedback and maybe go do them with your family. But anyways, uh, if you've done this, uh, post something in the comments or ping me on any one of our social channels. Let me know what you think. Um, did you like it? Did your kids like it? Um, thumbs up, thumbs down. Would you do it again? So anyways, take care. Thanks for watching.